In this video, I'm going to go over several ways in which you can install R packages, and we're starting right now. Okay, so method number one to install R packages is to simply go to the packages panel here at the bottom right, and then you could click on install, and then you type in the name of the package that you would like to install. Like for example, we could type in Plotly, and click on it, and click on install. Method number two, you could type in install.packages and then the name of the library. And then other methods, I have recently tweeted about this. You could also install packages directly from GitHub. For example, let's try this. See, I might need to install a package from GitHub, but let me try it first. Okay, so I have an error here, error in load name. There's no package called DevTools. Okay, let me try installing that. Okay, there seems to be an error. Let me go ahead and try it again. Okay, so it seems to work. Okay, so I'm just going to select all of them. Option 1. I'll type in yes. Okay, so installing via GitHub also works. Let's have a look at the next approach. Okay, so some packages are only provided on Bioconductor. And for that, let me show you. Let's go to the website of Bioconductor. So typically, if you go to the main page of Bioconductor, and then you could explore some of the over 1,974 software packages available in Bioconductor. And to install Bioconductor, you need to install a prerequisite library first. So let me show you that in one moment. Let me find a library to install. Let me find something about proteins. Okay, let me try installing the R CPI. Okay, and under installation here, you need to install the prerequisite library, which is the BioC Manager. So you could just copy that, paste it here. Okay, so it's currently installing. All right, now we got the prerequisite out of the way. Let's copy the code here. Okay, so here we have install function and then rcpi as the input argument. And notice here that we have the BioC manager in front for the bioconductor installer. Okay, and so you're going to see that rcpi package is currently being installed and is installing the prerequisite libraries. In case you're wondering, the rcpi allows you to compute molecular descriptors that you could use for your cheminformatics or bioinformatics projects. And there's also chemminer, also a very useful tool for cheminformatics research. And it's asking whether I want to update all, some, or none. I'll just say I'll update all then. Will it work? Okay, so it's finished. And let's see. Okay, so we've gone over through four different ways in which you can install R packages. So a recap is the first way is to graphically install it by going to the Packages tab and then clicking on Install. And so the second approach is to install via CRAN, and that is done by using the install.packages function and then importing the name of the package that you would like to install as the input argument. The third approach is to install via GitHub, and so you'll be needing to install the package called DevTools beforehand, and then you could use the following command. DevTools, and then you have two colon, and then install underscore GitHub, and then the name of the package. And so notice here that the input argument is the GitHub profile name and the repo name. And the last approach that I'm showing you is via Bioconductor. And so you would have to install the BioC Manager first, which is an installer of Bioconductor packages. And then after that, you could use the BioC Manager colon colon install function and then putting in the name of the package that you would like to install here. So in case you're wondering, what if you would like to install multiple packages? So let me show you how you could do that using CRAN. 
So let's say that you created a list of packages that you would like to install. Let's call it package packages list and create a vector. And then let's say we have Plotly, but actually we already installed Plotly many times. Let's try dplyr. Plotly again then. And another one, ggplot2. Okay, and then install dot packages and then packages list and then we'll run both lines and there you have it you could install multiple packages in one run so this comes in handy when you're planning on installing like maybe five or ten different packages and you could put it in your code and then you could share it to your friend and then your friend could simply install the prerequisite packages at the top of their code before proceeding to the analysis component. So I hope that you're finding value in this video. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.